Welcome back, everyone, to another edition of Rudy's Rant. Powered by Come On Now, the podcast. I am your host, Rudy Rodriguez Shomat. This is Rudy's Rant, where we talk facts over feelings. Thank you so much for continuing to support this channel. Be sure to like, subscribe, follow, become a member. I'd love to have all you on our membership live that I just did this evening. Get in on out, get on in with the membership, man. Want to do these membership lives? Do more membership content for the members. <clears throat> I appreciate everybody who's a, who is a member and everyone who subscribed. But um, I will be probably doing a live tomorrow for everyone, so uh, be on the lookout for that. Tomorrow being Wednesday, as it is now Wednesday at 12:08 a.m. As I'm recording this, <clears throat> let's talk about this schedule release that happened within the WNBA. I've seen some videos. I saw some of these little videos that these these uh, teams did. I thought the Atlanta Dream one was rather tacky and disrespectful, um, where they've called Indiana the bandwagon and all that crap. But I also thought the entire idea of announcing your schedule through a social media video, I thought it was corny. I thought it was stupid. Some people will disagree with me. I thought it was stupid. You're still a perfect like I've said what I've said about the about Unrivaled and my opinion on Unrivaled and how they could have made things better in their announcement. Right. I think that's something the WNBA could do with the expansion draft. I think that's something that the WNBA could do with the protection of players. They can make a live video <clears throat> of the players that are being protected. I think that's happening this week. I'm not sure, but or next week or whenever it's whenever it's being done. I think that could be done on a YouTube video live. And you have a camera in every executive office in the, in the league as they announce the players that they're going to be protecting. And then when you have the actual expansion draft, you do that live. You make it interactive. I'm not saying you make it the interactive that I'm talking about for Unrivaled, but you make it interactive. You have people comment and all that stuff. <clears throat> but making three recorded videos to tell me what day XYZ is playing who cares? The Atlanta Dream one was – that was the main one I saw. I mean, okay, you're at a barbecue. Okay. I, I <clears throat> It did nothing for me. I thought it was corny, bluntly. I thought it was corny. And I think you look a little desperate. But that's, I mean, have you ever, imagine if the NBA teams did a video to announce their schedule and have every team's games and all that crap? I, I, that's just, for what? But whatever, they did it. All that said, Indiana's playing Chicago five times in a 44-game schedule. Yet they're playing some other teams three times. Conferences in the WNBA do not matter. <clears throat> they don't. They don't matter. So what is the point of playing Chicago five times, but playing Atlanta or whoever in the in the Eastern Conference four times, but playing the Aces three times? Like, like wh why? Am I if I'm mistaken? Correct me, but. Didn't the Fever play the Aces four times last year for this past season? I'm going to check. I'm not sure. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to make sure. <clears throat> uh, schedule. No, they played them three times. No, they played, yeah, they played them four times. They played them twice in Vegas and twice in Indiana. So conferences don't matter, but you had Indiana play the Aces four times last year. This time they're playing them three, but you got four extra games. It's clear what the WNBA is trying to do. What they're trying to do is create a rivalry that does not exist. 
They're trying to make Angel Reese matter. They're trying to maximize the Caitlin Clark Angel Reese rivalry. Newsflash, there isn't one. The rivalry exists in the fact that they played against each other in college. They don't play the same position. <clears throat> one is much better than the other. They don't guard each other. So what is the rivalry exactly that you're trying to create? I get it. Ratings. And they open the season in Indiana playing Chicago. That's cute. It's a 1 p.m. Saturday game, May 17th. Put it on your calendar right now. And then they play Chicago again on June 7th. And again on July 26th. And then again on August 9th. And then again on September 5th. Three of those games are in Indiana. Now, here's where it goes crazy. Have you seen the ticket prices on the secondary market for this for these games? For the, no, forget the for the opener. That's the only one that matters. But right now, it says one hundred and sixty-five dollars is your get-in price on Vivid Seats. Actually, no, now it says 172. There's an article that shows 271 to get in on opening night. That's via TickPick. So via TickPick, it's 271. On Vivid, it's 172. Look, what is it on StubHub? First off, who has tickets to sell right now? I mean, if you're a season ticket holder, you don't even have your tickets yet. So people are selling tickets they don't even have yet. On StubHub, it's 164. Side court, $1,115. 446 in the corner, 817 in the in the ends. Like this is utterly insane. This is insane. Look, I have said I'm going to do everything I can to go see Caitlin Clark play somewhere. The second game against Indy Atlanta, in Atlanta <clears throat> the prices are are down comparatively. I love Caitlin Clark. There's no fucking way on the planet that I would pay $271 to see her play in the opener versus Chicago to sit in the upper deck. You've got to be kidding me. No way in hell. I love Caitlin Clark. <clears throat> $271? Not a chance in hell. No way. There's no way. $271? To see them play the opener against Chicago? To sit in the upper level? The fever price is was more, is more expensive than 29 of 30 home openers this year in the NBA. Only the Boston Celtics had a higher ticket price. Folks, listen and listen good. If this does not tell you the value of Caitlin Clark, nothing will. Nothing will tell you this. <clears throat> Her value to this league, this league has opened its eyes. Last year, they started, they played 11 games in 20 days. This year, 11 games in 30. 
three days. I am telling you, they recognize their mistakes. They try to capitalize on things last year and the hotness of Caitlin Clark coming in, and they didn't seem to understand what they were doing. They were <clears throat> they put the Indiana Fever in a bad position and the likelihood of not being successful because they didn't know each other. There's not a long enough preseason to get together. She plays a different style of ball than anyone's ever seen before. They weren't able to practice in between games. $271 to go to the opener to get in the building? This is Caitlin Clark. This isn't even a, this isn't Angel Reese. This is Caitlin Clark. That is bananas. Bananas. I mean, I, I'm going to see Caitlin Clark play somewhere this year. I know it. I know it. I'm going to. I've said it. <clears throat> they play in Atlanta May 22nd. That's not good. That's when my school's still on. June 10th, I got a conference. That's not going to work. Maybe not Atlanta. Shit. Let's see where else. D.C. When do they play at D.C.? Dallas could be one August 1st. Damn, they're, they're, that's through the roof, bro. They, they charge us some coin for that game. Fuck. Uh, maybe New York. <clears throat> maybe I go to Barclays on July 16th or July 22nd. Maybe my... Maybe my wife and I go for her birthday to go see Caitlin Clark play. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. I don't really want to go to Indiana, but maybe I'll go to Indiana. I don't know. I mean, I've never been to Indianapolis. I've been to Purdue. I've been to West Lafayette. Um, yeah. We'll see. Somewhere. I'm going somewhere. But $271? That's crazy. That's crazy. That's insane. I'm going to go here. Let's take a look. Teams. Let's look at the Atlanta Dream schedule. <laughs> Atlanta Dream. Their games, 75, 83. The get in price in Atlanta to see the fever. They are no longer playing in their Band-Aid box, I don't think. Or are they? Where's the, where's, where's the Gateway Center? The Gateway Center is in... Oh, it looks like it's in downtown. It looks like it's right in the middle of downtown. Oh, 5,000 seats. Are you serious? Five? They're still playing their Band-Aid box? Wow. Okay. I don't know why they're doing that. The get-in price for that game is $615. That's on uh, May 22nd. Wow. The Angel Reese game on the 22nd of June is 1661. I guess, yeah, I guess Black America does want Angel Reese to want to watch Angel Reese. There you go. Indiana, 279. I mean, <clears throat> Seattle is 1661. Okay, there, there's something crazy there. That 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 they haven't uh, I don't know what's going on there. That's weird. Um look at, let's look at another team. Let's look at the feet at the Liberty the champs. <clears throat> There's nothing here crazy right now. Not even, I mean, not even the Liberty. Anyhow, I think the ticket price is like, I presume they'll come down at some in some level, but there's no way in hell, as much as I love Kate, look like that I was paid $275 to go watch her play. Like plus fees, not a chance. Not a, not a chance. Not a, reg, not a regular season game. Come on now. A playoff game, maybe, but a regular season game? Come on. No, no, no. This is crazy, but this shows the impact she has. This is how impactful she is to the WNBA. And she can literally manipulate ticket prices on the, on the, on the, on the, 
Secondhand market, it's bananas. Bananas? How many thoughts on those ticket prices? What do you think? What do you think of the five games versus the Chicago Sky? 11 games in 33 days. I was on the Adrian Ross show early on Sunday. I picked Indiana to win the championship. I stick to that pick. They're going to win the championship this year. It's my opinion. And we'll go more in as we get closer to the season. But uh, that's some crazy prices. That's some crazy coin for a regular season game. Let me know what it does. Rant. Facts over feelings. Come on now.